welcome back to another review. I have got an absolutely awesome product on review here. This is the KL52 Plus zoomable LED light from Auto Pro. Auto Pro got in touch with me and asked if I was interested in having a look at the product and doing a review. After seeing the spec, I absolutely was. So they kindly sent me the product to test and to do the review on. Sent it free of charge from the UK Amazon store. That arrived a few weeks back and I've had it out and I've done some testing. I'm going to show you what's in the box, show you the box itself, then show you the torch. I'm going to talk you through some of the key features such as removing the pill and the battery and give you my initial thoughts. Then we're going to do some testing. Now I'm up here in sunny Sunderland and I'm going to use the beach to do the test. They claim the green pill has a range of 452 yards, the white 400 yards, the red 375. So I'm going to put that to the test. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to the beach, we're going to measure out the required distances and then we're going to wait for nightfall and we're going to test those lights. Then we're going to do an endurance test and that's essentially putting the pill with a fully charged battery into the torch in front of a clock. We're going to time lapse it until the battery dies. Now on the beach we'll be testing the red, we're testing the white and the green pill. On the time lapse and the endurance test we'll be testing all of them, the red, the white, the green and also the infrared. So let's have a look at what's in the box, let's get a start and then we'll move on to the beach for the distance testing and then we'll do some endurance testing at the end and then we'll have some final thoughts and see just how good this product is. This is a box that everything comes very neatly packed in. The box itself is good sturdy solid plastic and on the back here we've got the key features, specifications which is your run time and your beam distance and a quick overview of what's in the box. The box is fastened together with two quick release catches at the front. If we open it up you can see just how well everything is packed away. Everything's cut in this beautiful soft foam to protect it and we'll run down from the top. Got two 18650 3000 milliamp hour batteries which deliver a real punch to the torch. Got the rat's tail for connecting the torch to the, um, the rifle and we've also got three pills, green, white, infrared. If you're new to night shooting it's worth looking and understanding the difference between infrared 850 nanometer and 940 nanometer. I'm really pleased they've included the 850 in this because you do get better quality image and you get to throw the light much much further with 850. Got the torch itself here, two mounts and a double bay battery charger. I'm really pleased there's a double bay battery charger because sometimes you get products like this so they get two batteries and a single bay charger so you've got to constantly swap them over to get everything charged up. So they've thought about this and they put the double bay in which is really good. Underneath the battery charger here we have the product warranty card, spare o-rings and the instruction manual. Now the spare o-rings are a nice touch as well because regardless of the product you get o-rings do perish because they're constantly rubbed against when you remove from the components. Well I'll look at the torch in a second I'm just going to quickly show you the two different mounts that you get. So the first mount you get is in this box here and this is a standard scope type mount on a Picatinny attachment which is really nice because I shoot the FX Impact Mark II and it's Picatinny reels everywhere. So you'll notice so there's your standard mount with the Picatinny but they've also included this. Now this is a barrel mount and if you watch some YouTube videos you might notice that when people are shooting at night they get white out when they're shooting center fire and rim fire. That's because the the illuminator is mounted on the, on the scope so whether it's on the top or the side when the rifle goes off you get the cloud of smoke in front of the rifle so you get the refraction of the light. By using the barrel mount you can mount that underneath the barrel so then You've got the illumination from underneath and the smoke in front, so you don't get so much, if any, white out at all. So it's really nice if you included that. The other attachment that you've included is the figure of air clamp. So again, very straightforward, simply adjust that and then you put your illumination to there, attach that onto your scope, tighten it up, and once you've got it to the relevant tightness, you can just move it to the angle you want. One thing I would love Order Pro to include in future future packages like this is something like this. Now this is an adjustable mount. I picked this up for about a tenner on Amazon and I've got to say this is absolutely superb. When you're shooting and you're looking down your scope you have a very narrow area in front of where you're actually looking at. Now when you're using a figure of air clamp that's all well and good and you can have the illuminator on. You can get roughly the area lit up where you want to be but with something like this, when it's mounted to the rifle, you can adjust the windage and you can adjust the elevation by adjusting these dials here. And in doing that, you can tighten that beam even further and move it left or right, up or down, and get it right in front of the scope. For the sake of a five or a tenner, 
that Order Pro may want to pass on as a charge, I would pay that and I'm pretty sure other people would too, so something to consider. The torch itself, if you have a look at this, it is absolutely beautiful quality. The build quality is fantastic. It's aircraft grade machine aluminium and it's beautifully, beautifully built. Everything's nice and smooth, nice and slick. And what I'm going to do is just quickly talk you through how it works. So the back is the battery compartment. You simply screw that off and you'll see just how smooth that threading is. And the first thing you'll notice when you take it off is the double O-rings and you can also see the shine from the silicon grease on there. Drop the battery in there, nipple first, positive first, put the back on and you'll see just how smooth that goes on. Now to adjust the torch between a spot and a, and a flood, what you do is you wind the back like this. Now this is a nice touch as well because in some of the torches I've looked at in the past you adjust the head but when you wind the head out to get a spot you get a bit of head wobble. And again, going back to the focus in front of the scope, when you get the head wobble, you can see the light moving in and out on your final video. This has got a nice collar, so you can fasten it by the collar and lock it in place, and then you just zoom from the back. The head itself screws off, so you grab the collar and twist it. That will screw off like this. And there we go. Now, you'll see there, there's the pill. So what I do is I wind the pill forward like that, unscrew it, Really, really smooth threading, beautifully done, very, very well built. And there's the pill. You can take that out and swap that for any color I want. Now you'll notice the spring on the back. You need to make sure you remove the battery before you change this, because the battery compartment is here. The positive, the positive point of the battery is up here. And if you screw that in, you're screwing it in against the battery. So you could damage the back of the pill. So just bear that in mind. New pills in, heads back on. You see how easy that screws. You can actually flick it on, it goes down on the threads, but absolutely beautiful. And then your power button on the back. And just underneath the torch in the box, you get a lanyard, which you can attach if you're using it as a flashlight or a torch. Okay, that's the torch, that's the kit. Let's get some distance testing and endurance testing done. I'll put in some nighttime footage from the infrared pill and you can see it in action. During the distance test, if you keep an eye out for Brian the bunny, he's got reflective tape for eyes and this will let you see if you can actually get some sort of eye shine from an animal at the quarter distances. So Order Pro claiming that the green pill can throw light 452 yards, the white pill can throw it 400 yards and the red 375 yards. Because I couldn't find anywhere with that sort of ranges in the countryside, I've come here to the beautiful seafront up on the northeast coast and I thought we'll test it up here. What I'm going to do is measure out 452 yards straight down the bottom of the beach to the pier. I'm going to send the drone down to give you some sort of perspective on the distance and then as soon as it comes in dark I'm going to use the torches and throw the light down the bottom and see if we can hit those reflective targets. Let's see how we'll get on. I've laid in a target 452 yards down that way. We're going to send the drone back and give you some perspective of the distance. So as my dad and Judith walk off down the beach, they're going to be holding up some signs with reflective tape at the other end. Okay, she's about to hold them up. Okay, cool. Cheers, I'm just trying to find you on the camera, hang on. See the red light flashing cool. Okay, hold them up for me. You're gonna see the reflection from the tape on the board. Now you can see it quite clearly on the camera because I do have the camera zoomed in, 
but you can also see it very very clearly with the naked eye and you're looking for the rabbit eye shine especially because this shows the reflection from those two little eye markers on Brian the bunny. So here you can see the eye shine straight away with the white light at 400 yards, no problem whatsoever. We'll move on to the red now at the quarter distance, 375 yards, and you'll see it's absolutely not a problem whatsoever. The slight illuminates the board, and you can also see the rabbit eye shine as well. Really impressed with the red, so I decided to pull it back a little bit further, push it back to 420 yards to see how well it performs there. I'm going to go a little bit further back with the red. Do you mind just hanging on there for two secs? Yeah, that's fine. So I run off down the beach, move further back, and I put the torch at 420 yards, and you can see there, not a problem whatsoever. Still illuminating the sign, and you can still see the rabbit eye shine as well, just to the right. So after the red light completely smashed the quarter distance on the box, I wanted to see how much further I could push it out to. So this is Roker Lighthouse and from where I was standing I was ranging it around about 768 yards. Now to range it I actually used Google Maps because the range finder that I had couldn't actually reach that far out. But you can see how it looks like it's illuminating the lighthouse. I couldn't get anybody out to the pier to confirm that the light was hitting the lighthouse or whether or not it was punching up in the atmosphere but it looks like it's illuminating the pier. And this shot gives you some sort of idea as to just how far out it is. Here's the Google map and you can see the distance as the crow flies, which would be obviously as the light travels. Whoa! <laughs> I left that reaction in from Judith because that shows just how bright this thing is. The footage itself doesn't do it justice. When you see it in real life and you see how intense these beams are, it really is an amazing bit of kit. So I tested the red there, moved on to the white, and you can see the white is very, very dazzling, very, very bright indeed. And then I switch across to the green just to give an idea as to how bright the green is. Now all three pills were absolutely beautiful, very intense, very vibrant, and very, very sharp indeed. Okay, we're gonna move on to some endurance testing and see how long these lights burn for. Based on my test, I got 72 minutes out of the white, 150 minutes out of the red, more than 250 workable minutes, i.e. long distance minutes, out of the green, and over 195 minutes from the infrared. Note the caveat at the bottom, I think if this unit was turned on and off between use, 
as it normally would be, you would certainly get longer burn times than I recorded there. Just something to note here, the final run time stated in my endurance tests are the times that I think the torch is able to throw the light as far as the manufacturer stated distances, so therefore suitable for hunting light. In the case of the infrared and the green, they were still illuminated way, way, way beyond the manufacturer's state at times, but whether or not they'll be suitable for long distance shooting, for example, is debatable. In fact, I turned the green off after 12 hours, so the times stated there, just to be absolutely clear, are the times that I think that the torch would be suitable for long distance shooting. Beyond that, for example, the green, it would still be suitable for a flashlight. Okay, let's go and test the infrared. Okay, the rifle's unloaded, and what I'm going to do is ping the distance to this farmhouse and see how far away that is. The range will be in the bottom right of your screen. So I'm getting 115 yards there. And to that back wall, I'm getting 56 yards. Okay, what I'm going to do is come back in the dark and we'll test the IR and see if it can reach that distance, and if so, what quality it provides. I do have to say that I am really impressed with the power on this torch and the quality of light that it puts out. Whether I was shooting in a barn or across a farmyard, I got good, solid consistency with the light. You really can see a lot of detail with this light because it throws a lot of light downrange, and this isn't even on full focus, on, on full spot. I had to widen it up slightly because of the position that I had it mounted on the rifle, so you can get this light a lot tighter with a tighter spot and you will get even more light downrange. Whether you're doing close range shots, long range shots or just scanning around, you're getting good quality and a consistent beam from this illuminator. Whether you're doing short range shooting or longer range shooting or even scanning a barn like this, you're getting a good quality beam and good quality light and consistent light as well. You can see here this green silo, we're looking 39 yards and you can see all the detail on that. It really is fantastic. Right, back across to the farmhouse. One final look at the farmhouse. This is the same position I was at during the day when I lasered it before. Just see if the illuminator can reach out there. So let's just ping the farmhouse and see how far away it is. It was 114-ish yards, so let's have a quick look. Yeah, 113 yards. So, let's put the illuminator on. Look at that. Slight focus there. Absolutely beautiful. Let's knock it off again. And back on. Absolutely cracking range on that. Very, very nice indeed. Let's go down to the back wall here. Let's focus there. Quickly laser that wall. 56 yards, 57 yards thereabouts. Back up to the farmhouse. Around about 114. 113, 14, 15 yards there, about a couple of yards out, but you can see there. Previous laser down the back. See if we can get a distance down there. 136 yards flashed up there. Just a few final thoughts to wrap up the video. Now when I got the product, I opened the box and you can see immediately, before you even do anything with the torch, how well it's all packed and laid out, how well it's presented, and also the quality of the torch itself. It's all aircraft grade machine aluminium. It's very slick, or everything moves just as they should. All the screws and all of the threads are lovely and smooth. Everything's greased and all, all rings are in place. Very nice torch, presented very, very well. Distance wise, astounding it absolutely smashed the distance as quoted on the box so the red at 375 yards not a problem at all and i even pulled it right back to 420 yards or thereabouts still hit the target no problem at all still illuminated the target you could see it no worries 
The green, um, 452 yards. I took that beyond 452 yards. Again, not even, not even a problem whatsoever. The white, 400 yards, absolutely brilliant. Smashed its targets every time. And when I shone them out to the lighthouse, I couldn't quite make out whether or not it was hitting the lighthouse or whether or not the light was kind of bunching up with the fret and the moisture in the air and giving the impression it was hitting the lighthouse because I couldn't get anyone out there at that time of night. But it was certainly hitting the pier itself and that's around about 730 to 770 yards. That's quite a distance to be pushing that light out to. The beam intensity and beam quality is absolutely fantastic. Very, very thick beam, if you like, very intense. And you could see it when I'm shining it down the beach towards the camera. I was out at around about 100 yards and it was just coming down really, really bright. Really impressed with that. The endurance tests, okay, some of the tests that I did fell short of the manufacturer's quarter times. However, that was because I did the test my way, they would have had their own way of testing it. And one thing to note is I charged that battery to 100%, put the pill in and just switched it on and let the battery burn. Now, that's not how you would generally use a torch like this. You would be switching it on and off, on and off. If you were added up the accumulated on time, I think, I think that would easily reach the target on the box or the specification on the box, no problem at all. Um, I think it was something like 72 minutes, constant burn time on the white. Um, that would go beyond that if you're switching the torch on and off and using it as a general purpose light. The infrared, quarter two hours, that seemed to go on for about over four hours. As a long range hunting torch, I'll probably say you would get about two to three hours out of it. Shorter range, sort of ratting ranges, you're probably going to get three to maybe the four hours. The green, <laughs> not quite sure what to say about the green, the green just didn't seem to want to die. So not only did it easily reach its 452 yard target, when I switched it on, it just burnt. Now, I ran the green test twice, and the reason I did that was because it didn't seem to want to die. It seemed to go on and on and on. And both times I ran the test, I got the same results, exactly the same, sorry, I've got flies everywhere, exactly the same both times. There seemed to be a big power surge around about the three hour mark, but then it went beyond the four hours and on and on. I think as a long range hunting torch, you would get the, about the, you will get the four hours, no problem. Um, but beyond that five or six plus, right the way up to probably 13, 14, 15 hours, it would be absolutely perfect as a torch, a general torch for roundabout. So overall the product itself, absolutely cracking bit of kit. It looks good, feels good, works well. Distance, easily reaches the target spot quoted on the box and some and endurance although my test was slightly slightly different to the manufacturers but again I would have tested differently to they have I think if you add up the accumulative on time for all of the torches sorry for all of the LEDs in the torch you would find that it would go way beyond this the manufacturers quoted runtime this is an absolutely beautiful product. I really did stretch its legs and pushed it and I have to say I'm really, really impressed with it. And I'm going to keep this as my main hunting torch for the infrared and I'll keep the pills as well, which I can just hot swap if I need to. If you're looking for a hunting torch, definitely consider the Order Pro KL52 Plus. And if you're looking for a general purpose torch, please have a look at this as well. It is worth it. It's retailing for around about £99 on Amazon. Take a look at the Amazon store. The link's in the description below. Have a look at the Order Pro website and make your own mind up. I hope this review is useful. Certainly if you're looking for a torch, I hope you found some information in here that you could use. And please, if you like the video, hit like. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you have any questions, do comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If I can't answer them, I might be able to point you to somewhere where you can get information from. Thanks for watching.